deal. It comes amid claims from a Russian think tank that weather data has been manipulated by British researchers. A lot of news uh, strands going on here. RT's Laura Emmert has got more tonight from the Danish capital. The Prime Ministers and Presidents have, most of them, already arrived for these last two days of the conference. I think that the best way to describe this conference is, is it's like a juggernaut. It's, it's a huge thing with loads of momentum and it's just rolling along and, and it doesn't really have, have the will all the time to take into account any of these new kind of developments. Um, and at the beginning of the conference, which was almost two weeks ago now, uh, the original Climate Gate scandal was discussed quite a lot got these leaked emails from the University of East Anglia that suggested that individual scientists had been manipulating data in order to support the climate change theory. And this, if you like, is e an even more uh, damning indictment of climate science. It's not about individual scientists, it's about the way that the data, the, the actual data that's being included. Um, so uh, the, 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 the results of it is that it seems from the independent analysis of this Russian body that the the Hadley Center's information would leave them a degree Celsius out in terms of estimating what's happened to the climate in the last hundred or so years. Uh, now, for more on that, I'm joined by Nick Griffin, who's the head of the British National Party and also a delegate to the summit on behalf of the European Union. Mr. Griffin, thanks Good very evening. much for talking to us. Now, what's your opinion on this latest suggestion that climate change data is being manipulated? Well, it's a stunning revelation, really. The other week, of course, we had uh, the University of East Anglia's uh, reputation drastically tarnished. Uh, this now is the Hadley Center. Now there's only four sources for the data used by the IPCC and two of them are now tainted by sleaze or fraud. Now you in the past have called climate change a hoax and those who want to take action against climate change, mass murderers. Can you explain that? Uh, it's not in the past I call it a hoax. I'm calling it a hoax right now. Um, unwitting mass murderers, because already by insisting that um, the world has to go to biofuels on a massive scale, uh, they've taken about a third of the United States agricultural lands out of fruit production to grow biofuels, which are highly inefficient. Uh, and as a consequence of that, there are people in the third world starving to death right now. So that's Nick Griffin, who's here trying to persuade delegates not to sign a deal. Uh, I'll be here uh, both for the rest of Thursday and also into Friday when we wait to see whether or not a deal will actually be signed. That is Laura Emmett, they're reporting for us. Two Federal Security Service officers have been killed. Uh